Time for some Kong Skull Island action. Oh yeah. I kind of want that clock. Just saw Kong Skull Island. Very enjoyable. I liked it a lot. But you know what's interesting? I was not the only one in the theater. There were several other people there. It wasn't a sold out show or anything. It's a Sunday night. It was a it was a light crowd, but there was a significant number of people there, so I was not alone. Yet, I was the only one in the entire theater that saw the Easter egg after the credits, because as soon as the credits started rolling, everyone hopped up and got out of there. And I gotta wonder, how is it that in this day and age, people don't know that you stay after the credits? I don't get it. There have been stuff after the credits for as long as I can remember, going all the way back to the 80s. Ferris Bueller, you're still here? It's over, go home, you know? That was 1980, was that 86 or 87, Ferris Bueller? But that was quite a while ago. And I'm a big fan of the 1987 Masters of the Universe movie with Dolph Lundgren. That has an after the credits Easter egg in which Skeletor says, I'll be back, and then he doesn't come back because they never made a sequel. So this isn't a new thing, but arguably ever since 08, when Iron Man came out, and the Marvel movies really, really put the post-credit Easter egg stinger on the map, by now you should know if you're going to a movie, stay through the credits. Not a single person except me stood through, stayed through the credits and they missed a cool little Easter egg, little stinger. I don't think I'm giving away any spoilers in saying that there is a stinger. I'm not going to tell you what it is because that would be a spoiler. Someone somewhere is going to say that was a spoiler. You shouldn't have said there was a stinger. Come on, common sense these days. If you're seeing a major studio blockbuster popcorn type film there's probably going to be a stinger at the end it's just common sense now there's an app you can get for your phone i recommend downloading this app there's an app called after credits you can find it if you, i have an iphone i guess they make it for android too i don't know if you have an iphone you can find this app after credits and it actually tells you you look up a movie beforehand and it tells you, is there something during the credits? Is there something after the credits? It's all there. So that way you could check before the movie and you know. <laughs> check out that app. I'm pretty sure it's a free app. It's been a while. I've had it on my phone for a couple of years now, so I don't remember if I paid for it, but I think it's a free app and it's, it's worth checking out. You don't leave after before the credits. You don't do it. I mean, if you really, really, really gotta pee, get up, go to the bathroom, and come back. The credits are long enough. You can make it. They call this Arctic Zone, Batman. Arctic Zone. But I'm sorry. He looks like he's wearing a lab coat. This should say Professor Batman. That's what it looks like. Professor Batman or Dr. Batman. Maybe put a stethoscope around his neck. Doesn't look like Arctic Batman. Arctic Batman should have like a big heavy Han Solo in the Empire Strikes Back coat on. No, this guy looks like a doctor. Dr. Batman. Maybe he's bringing the enemas or the suppositories. The Easter egg coloring kits are out, and I gotta say, look at this one. Mini monsters. This. <laughs> that is not licensed by Disney, but that is the biggest ripoff of, uh, of uh, Mike from uh, Monsters University, Monsters Inc. It looks just like him. It's ridiculous. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen right here. Personally speaking, I can't stand coloring Easter eggs. I hate it because I have an intense hatred for the smell of vinegar. I can't stand the smell of vinegar. It destroys me <laughs> to my core. 
and most Easter egg coloring involves vinegar, so I don't really like to be around it. But you know what I really do like that has to do with Easter? Peeps. And I'll let you in on a secret. If you're not a peep connoisseur, because I'm a peep connoisseur, the darker colored peeps, like the purples and the blues, taste much better than the yellow ones. It must be the food coloring they use or something, but they definitely have a different taste. If anyone tells you they all taste the same despite the color, that person is wrong. I am a connoisseur, the darker ones are best. These are the most delicious Oreo cookies I've ever had. They're dangerous. I'm watching what I eat, and I bought these the other day, and it wasn't good. I can't even buy these. They're so ridiculously good. Not only is the filling marshmallow based like a, a marshmallow peep, it's actually got the like sugar in there, it tastes like someone jammed Oreo wafers around a marshmallow peep. It's, it's insane. It's delicious. So I'm not buying this because I'm watching what I eat and these are dangerous and I am incapable of eating these in moderation. So I'm not getting them. But damn, they are good. So it's the next day, the day after I saw Kong Skull Island, the video footage you just saw, that was from last night. And today is Monday, that was Sunday, and I'm on the East Coast. I'm in the Philadelphia area, and we're about to get slammed with snow. They are calling for possibly up to 12 inches or more, maybe less. They're saying it's going to be a blizzard. I don't like snow. I hate snow. It's always been my dream to live in Florida. It's, it's always where I wanted to live. For one brief shining moment, I lived in Arizona, and I didn't see snow all winter, and I was happy. Circumstances, circumstances, I can speak, brought me back to Pennsylvania. And it's a good thing that circumstances did, because it was then that I met my wife, and I would not have a, a beautiful stepdaughter and daughter were it not for me coming back to Pennsylvania. So good has come of it, but I do hate the cold and I do hate the snow and I am not happy about this weather forecast at all. I kind of wish I was in Florida right now. But I was thinking about a year ago, and mind you, I can't watch any of these movies because I'm in a house with children and these movies are for people over the age of 18. I did give it some thought about a year ago, and I came up with the perfect, I think perfect, snowed in movie marathon. If you're snowed in, if you're on the East Coast watching this and blizzards going on outside, these are this is my little mini movie marathon that I think is perfect for a snow day. Number one, the 2011 poorly titled prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing, which was just called the Thing, which is stupid because it's a prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing, but I would start the marathon off with that, the poorly titled 2011 prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing. Follow that up with John Carpenter's The Thing. And then I'd finish it out with Chris Evans in Snowpiercer. I think that's a perfect little movie marathon for those people who are snowed in. Uh, you could also do Empire Strikes Back. It's got Hoth. You could do Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. It's got Kirk and McCoy in the snow when they escape from the Klingon colony of Aurora Pente. However, those are just brief scenes in otherwise longer movies, whereas prequel to The Thing, The Thing, and Snowpiercer are pretty much you're in the snow the whole time. Uh, another good one? The 2011 film Frozen, which is a horror film directed by Adam Green. It is not a Disney musical. The Disney musical came out a couple years later, but that's a pretty good one too. It's about some people stuck on a ski lift, and that's, that's another good one to throw into the mix. So there you go. That's my snow day movie marathon. Now, personally, I am not happy because... I was born on the first day of spring, the first full day of spring. My birthday is March 21st. Spring arrives March 20th, midday, so I'm the first full day of spring. Having been born the, full, the, the first full day of spring, I don't like 
the cold weather. I'm a spring-summer guy. And I kind of like the fall, but I don't like it because I there's always this fear that, you know, the winter is on the way. So uh, I am just looking forward to this winter being over. And the fact that we're getting a snow day a week before spring starts doesn't sit well with me. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Oh, <laughs>